Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 5.0, and today is day 42. So we have been working in opportunities on how to get paid, and today we kind of round that final corner, and we're gonna learn how to submit a commission request to our MCA in order to get a DA. So let's go into the opportunities applet, sixth one down on the handshake. We're gonna open quickly the opportunity that we've been working on here for a while. Then we're gonna go into that offers and commissions tab. And you'll see this is the uh, offer that we were left with yesterday after kind of rejecting the other or, or removing the other offer. And so our sellers have said, yep, we're good to go on this offer. We'd like to accept it. So we're gonna go ahead and click on the accept button. And you'll see that that then changes the buttons that we now have available. So change response would basically mean uh, this deal fell out or something got changed with regards to the financials. We wanna change that response or we can manage the commission. Now the response can be changed before we submit the commission request. However, afterwards, as of right now, you would have to deal directly with your MCA. But let's go ahead and dive into the commission. So when we click on manage commission, we get into the manage commission tab and you're gonna see a couple of different boxes in here. So first of all, we have the general information regarding this property. So the sales price that was agreed upon was 365. The commission rate that I entered when I created the opportunity was 3%, which would lead me towards having a total commission of 10,950 with one unit being awarded as far as the total units for this actual opportunity. The close date we put in at 73021. However, the contract date, we do need to come in and enter that. So we need to click on edit general information and then come into the contract date. And the contract date, although we started putting in the command yesterday, it actually came in last Thursday, right? We did a highest and best over the weekend, so it took a little time. So we're gonna click on save changes and you'll see the contract date is now entered. As we scroll down, you're going to see, okay, so agent units, here's the agent units that's been put in. Here is the agent gross commission. Here is the net payout after my royalty and cap have been removed. And here's the payment date, which would be the closing date. On the right hand side, you will see that we have this similar breakdown, total commission, pay to office, associate royalty, company dollar, if there's any additional deductions, and then what am I ultimately going to be paid on this transaction? Now, if I am a solo agent, not on a team, I have no deductions, no referrals, no additional information, anything that would somehow change this dollar figure, then I can go ahead and submit this actual request. And when I click on submit, you'll see I get into our charitable donations applet, right, which allows me to then come in and name any sort of donations that I may want to make to KW Cares or KW Kids Can. And so I can enter any dollar amount by clicking on other or choosing some of the presets 10, 50, and 100. And these are separate donations. So you'll see if I do 50 on each, that makes a combined donation of $100. I also have down here the ability to skip and submit or then donate and submit. Now I'm not gonna go through with this because I would put a request for my MCA and she works hard enough as it is. But that is the basics of a commission request. Tomorrow, we're gonna to dive into more detail. We'll talk about how to add an additional agent or how to add in any other deductions or referrals that you may have. So stay tuned for that. But that's it for today. Really just a simple run through on how to submit a clean and simple commission request to your MCA. Hope everyone's having a great day and I'll look forward to talking to you again real soon.